what we're doing to make sure that um, that we are ready uh, at this level after working these details for the last six months, uh, as I've told the team, two things we must have. One, upon uh, emergency use authorization, uh, all of America must receive vaccine within 24 hours, as I said. I think this is incredibly important. Fair and equitable distribution of the vaccine throughout the country simultaneously. There is no haves and have nots. Uh, it is an equitable distribution, uh, and we are driving hard to make sure that that happens. The second thing that we want to do is make sure that the cadence of vaccine delivery following the first push is routine so that states slash jurisdictions can plan for it uh, and account and develop execution of the administration in a routine method so that the population is well informed. Uh, you see this right here? You see this? This is an aerial photograph of the video I showed you yesterday of all the military vehicles. This was just pulled up this morning. That's the quarry. See it? There's, there's, there's the quarry. And if you zoom in on it, wow, look at all those military trucks hidden right in plain sight. Nobody sees them. Well, guess what? There's more. This is from another quarry. This are you, uh, A subscriber just sent me this this morning. You notice anything strange hidden behind this fence at a quarry? It makes me wonder how many quarries the United States government has bought up over the years because look at that. This is a totally different quarry with a whole bunch of military trucks hidden in it. So this is my channel where all my videos that have ever been taken down on YouTube are kept. It's on this site right here, lbry.tv. I'll leave links in the description box below. But the reason I'm bringing this up is that I've had about four subscribers from Wisconsin, which is where this video was taken. You see that right there? Wisconsin. And now, this is Wisconsin today. Right there on the street, the exact same trucks that I showed you here are right here. Now they're on the streets. They're not messing around, but it just shows straight up that none of this is organic we already knew that anyways none of it's organic but this is a war machine this is a this is much worse than an mrap this is worse than a hummer these are war machines and this isn't organic because this goes back to april 13th when i showed you these and these are right down the street from this right here now the youtuber coronavirus coverage i'll leave links below posted this just now. Check this out. Get open. The training we're conducting right now for our SDX lane is a uh, guard facility um, for uh, theater operations. We run through all types of scenarios, whether it be MA trying to escape during, let's say, a wreck call where they're out in the yard getting their exercise. Someone's just just misbehaving in a communal cell or a segregated cell. Uh, situations where we might be taking um, indirect fire. So not only are we uh, detaining these prisoners, we also have to keep their their safety and well-being in mind. So we have to make sure that we're protecting them at all costs. Okay, close. So there you go. Suddenly, the country with the largest prison industrial complex privately owned the most people on earth incarcerated in one country and we've got plenty of room plenty of room in the jail system these people rioters antifa black lives matter nfac any of these guys are criminals if they're committing crimes so they go to jail there's no need for any of this whatsoever at all now to all the soldiers national guard all the people in this video i don't care what you think if you're arresting and detaining americans you're a traitor to this country and you're helping the new world order institute their new world order i can't help but show this but i'm going to show it again okay the united nations and the new world order 
these guys will be meeting the blue helmets at some point after the new world order is done with them okay now why do i keep saying new world order because they're saying it now once again this is the united nations website un.org they just had a virtual concert about battling covid 19 and this was their final act where they had children singing this because they always have children presenting things that are horrific to you so it doesn't seem that bad but according to their song around the world we're closing borders covid 19 on the rise a new world order behind closed doors the storm will pass we will survive these people are instituting their new world order under the guise of a pandemic that nobody sees nobody's dying from it's a complete and utter hoax and the military guys that are training to lock up american citizens you will be written down in the lists of history if anyone ever records history again as traitors you damn well know better we have way more than enough correctional officers law enforcement alphabet agencies to handle this none of this needs to be but again showing this back in april completely and straight up shows that they were planning for this because these trucks were stored right down the street from where they are right now what a coincidence huh what an absolute and utter coincidence this is all by design the reason the looters are allowed to keep doing what they need to the rioters are allowed to keep doing what they need to is because they need absolute chaos which is why the police are being told to stand down you can't have the military come in if the police actually do their job a riot can't turn into a riot if the police officers do their job at the very beginning but that's not the case and for those of you that don't seem to understand this none of these rioters people doing all this damage are organic these are bought and paid for agent provocateurs it's old news but let me show it to you again this right here is old news, but people like George Soros, not only George Soros, gave Black Lives Matter and Antifa over $100 million.